It's simple math. We can burn less than 565 more gigatons of carbon dioxide and stay below 2 degrees Celsius of warming. Anything more than that, and our planet is in serious risk. The only problem? Fossil fuel corporations now have 2,795 gigatons in their reserves. That's five times the safe amount. And they're planning to burn it all, unless we join together and rise up to stop them. Hey everybody, this is Bill McKibben. We just got off this beautiful bus here in Portland, Oregon. We're in the beginning of this big tour we're doing all across the country. 21 cities in 21 nights. We started last night in Seattle and we had 2,000 fired up people there. It was really amazing. Truth be told, no night seems as important to me as this one. I feel as if for me it may be the start of the last campaign I get to fight because the planet's getting tired. The moment really has come to make the stand. And that does not depress me. It, it excites me because I think we've really begun to figure out what it is we need to do. As of tonight, we're going after the fossil fuel industry. Portland is one of the few cities that have actually reduced greenhouse gas emissions, in our case, 6%, while the nation has gone up 12%. I, like I say to every audience, whether in Portland or otherwise, that's high praise on a very, very low national standard. We haven't even begun to scratch the surface in terms of our potential of being a really kind of city and kind of region that does no harm to the climate. We haven't even begun, but the early efforts show we can do it. What we need to do is simplify what the issue is, clarify the narrative, impress people with the urgency of a problem, given that if we don't do something about this in a fairly short period of time, it's going to be drastically devastating for the planet, or so the theory goes. We can make the leap to renewable energy, and we can do it quickly. It will be hard. It'll require going on a kind of wartime footing, but it's by no means impossible. I think what Bill spoke about tonight was it's important to think about what's happening in your backyard, to connect the dots between the things that happen on our river, whether it's the toxic pollution or the toxic coal dust and trains that come through, to take those and to step back and look at how that's impacting the global climate and our climate future. You know, climate change is everything, really. It's the whole ballgame now. And Bill's been the most articulate spokesman on that subject for a long time. You know, the reality is we, we do our work in the context of climate change. We were all about strategies to grow food, uh, restore forests, uh, improve fisheries, um, uh, green building energy, you know, the whole thing around resilience. I don't like the idea of adapting to climate change. I want to I reduce the prospect of climate change. Some people believe that it's a trade-off between being prosperous and doing the right thing for the environment. And we're showing here in Multnomah County and in Portland that it's not. That you can be a prosperous community, that you can pursue a quality of life that's really wonderful, and you can do it in a way that's really environmentally responsible. We are at a place in the Northwest where we can stop a lot of fossil fuel infrastructure. We can put our foot down and we can say, no, we don't want natural gas. We're not fooled by fracking. And no, we don't want coal exports. We know what the mines look like. We know the toxic pollution that comes from that. We know that that's the worst contributor to climate change. We're pretty lucky to live in Oregon right now because we have great fights to fight. We can fight coal, we can fight LNG, and we can win. A revolution destroys, evolution creates. We're trying to encourage and to push that, the evolution, I think all of us are, the evolution towards a whole new kind of uh, way we think uh, uh, and act around a new kind of economic opportunity. Oh!